Welcome guys. In this video, I will be showing you the top 5 best weapon combos for rush gameplay. Take note that this list is based on my personal preference. So if ever I misplaced your favorite combo in this list, or maybe didn't get to include it at all, feel free to comment down below your ideal loadout for rushing. Let's help each other out. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting with the number 5 spot which is the M416 with S12K or DBS. This combo is very lethal in close range. As we all know, you can instantly kill an enemy with one shot with a shotgun. Which makes it the best weapon in close range. And M416 is the best overall assault rifle in this game as it can handle any range in any situation. But despite a shotgun being the most effective weapon in close range, it has its own disadvantages. Because shotgun requires a lot of skills and accuracy. Missing one bullet with a shotgun even if it's an S12K, will really put you in a deadly situation. And the shotgun is most effective in the range of 0 to 10 meters. Because of bullet spread. But this loadout still deserves to be in my top 5. Another good alternative for this combo is the DBS. Which is already spawned on the ground, since the new era update. Or if you're a player who loves the new Livic map. The new Livic exclusive shotgun which is the new M1014, would be the best option for you. Now let's move on to the number 4 spot, which is the Tommy gun with M416. The Tommy gun had a huge buff in the new update, cause it can now equip a red dot or a hollow. And it also had an increase in its rate of fire. I still don't know the exact numbers on its new rate of fire, but its base damage remains the same. This is the damage chart of Tommy gun. Pause the video to take a better look. The Tommy gun has a mag size of 30, and 50 when extended. Having those amount of bullets, plus the fast rate of fire can easily wipe a squad out. So this loadout is best for players who loves to play solo versus squads. Tommy gun will handle the close range fights with ease, and the M416 will handle mid to long range. Coming in top 3, is M416 plus M416. M416 has a mag size of 30, and 40 when extended. And this is the only 5.56 assault rifle that can equip a fifth attachment. Which is the tactical stock. You might find this loadout confusing. But having two ARs that can handle any range and situation is very lethal. Plus, you have bullet synergy. And that takes less time and effort in looting. Having this loadout would handle any gunfight with ease. For example, equip a half grip, or angled grip in your M416 that you'll use for spraying in mid to long range and equip a laser sight, or thumb grip in your other M416 for close range fights. And since you have a lot of 5.56 bullets, you might as well chase airdrops and you might get lucky and find an AUG, or an M249 inside. Here's the damage chart of M416 and M249. Do note that any 5.56 assault rifle has the same amount of damage as the M416, and it will have identical performance. Some prefer the AUG, because its build speed is a bit more faster compared to M416. But for me, the M416 is a better choice, because its spawn rate is decent and that makes me more used to it. I rarely find an AUG in airdrops, and even though I happen to find one, the only way that will make me pick it up, is if I haven't found an M416 yet. Now let's move on to the top 2 in my list, which is the crowd's favorite, the M416 plus M762. I know a lot of you guys have this loadout in your number 1 spot. And it was hard for me to decide on which to rank number 1 or 2. This loadout is very popular to players nowadays. Cause the majority of us doesn't always use snipers, cause most of the gunfights usually happen in close range. Another good alternative for the barrel is the classic AKM. The AKM and barrel performs differently. But both AKM and barrel serves the same purpose. Which is destroying enemies in close range. Both weapons has a mag size of 30, and 40 when extended. Here is the damage chart of both AKM and Barrel. But if you want me to make a full comparison video, between AKM and Barrel, then let me know in the comments down below. These two 7.62 ARs are one of the best weapons you can use in close range fights. But if you can get your hands on Grossa, then you will have a much higher advantage in other players, as this is the best assault rifle in this game. Grossa has the same damage stats as the AKM, but its rate of fire is a lot faster, which can shoot up to 12 bullets in a second. And the recoil of this gun is very easy to handle. 
Same as the other assault rifles, the Grossa has a mag size of 30, and 40 when extended. Another airdrop exclusive weapon you'd like to pick up if you happen to find it, is the MK-14. This is a god tier weapon, and it has the highest damage amongst all the fully automatic weapons in this game. When you switch this gun from single fire mode, to full auto while having the right attachments, then you'll be shredding every player that comes in your way. MK-14 has a mag size of 10, and 20 when extended. That's why having an extended clip is a must for this weapon. Here's the damage stats of both Grossa and MK-14. Now to the top one in my list, the one and only M416 plus Uzi. This has been my favorite loadout recently. And if you watch my gameplays in the end of some of my videos, then you might notice that I use this loadout in most of my games. The Micro Uzi is a god tier weapon for close range fights in my opinion. It has a rate of fire of 0.04, which can shoot up to 25 bullets in a second. The only downside to that, is you need to have extreme accuracy. Because having that fast rate of fire, will instantly empty your entire clip. The Micro Uzi has a mag size of 25, and 35 when extended. So it is a must to hit every bullet you can, when using this weapon. But take note that you can always switch to your secondary gun, cause that's always faster than reloading. Here's the damage stats of Micro Uzi. So why do I consider this a god tier weapon? Cause I know for sure that I'll win 8 out of 10 close range fights, if I have this load out. No matter how good the opponent is. If you haven't tried using the Uzi yet, then I highly suggest you play arena training. And equip an Uzi with an M416 and see for yourself. That's all I got for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and leave a like if you learned something from this video. And comment down below what video you'd like me to do next. Hope you enjoy my gameplay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know brain. Marvin Divine. Uh. I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried Saying that I wasn't right, yet I was right by your side You manipulator, playing games, your friends commentators And I don't know what you say about our private conversations But it's got them hating, thanks for all the rumors you be claiming It's cool, I'm done with you, so they can throw you a celebration You gon' hate it when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gon' have you jealous, uh I know That wraps up this video guys. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I would like to inform you that I would be doing an RP giveaway to one lucky subscriber by the time I reach 500 subs. And it is really simple to join, you just have to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, link in the description below. Want to achieve zero recoil? Check out my full tutorial and sensitivity on how to get zero recoil like aimbot. Link in the description below. Always remember it's a battle royale. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. Keep playing PUBG, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Peace out guys.